Well, police are investigating a deadly shooting in South Oklahoma City. It's the fourth homicide in the city in just the last week alone. This happened at a home out near Southeast 62nd and Shields. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has the breaking news update. Well, police say there were three people inside the home spending time together when the night took a violent turn. And right now there are still a lot of questions that investigators are working to learn the answers to. That's the first um, time that I've had a killing this close to where I live. Nikki Lippold was relaxing watching TV around 10 o'clock Sunday night when she noticed police lights flashing outside her window on Lindsay Avenue near Southeast 62nd in Shields. It was a madhouse. There was probably a half a dozen, at least a half a dozen police cars here. She quickly learned there was a murder investigation happening just a few houses up the street. Police say Gary Westrick was visiting Tony Cervantes and a woman who also lived there. All three know each other and had uh, been spending time together during the evening when for whatever reason one of them became upset, retrieved a firearm and shot the other, killing him. Westrick died at the scene. He was 33 years old. Cervantes was arrested and booked into the Oklahoma County Jail. He's facing a first degree murder charge. Been here almost 30 years now and it's, it's really been a quiet neighborhood. We were a little upset about it. It's left neighbors uneasy about the state of the world or at least their neighborhood. I mean, it, it's just normal for, for the, uh, the world anymore. In Oklahoma City, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Now, police say they're still in the early stages of this investigation. Cervantes' bond hasn't been set yet.